Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Techies and in this video let me explain how to deploy our Angular 15 application in the IAS server. The step is very simple. First we have to generate the build file using this ng build command. Let me go to my application. Okay, basically it will take some time. So meanwhile we can open our IAS server. So here in this uh, site section, just right click and add a website and then provide the site name. I am providing material UI. Then in this physical path, so let me create the deployment folder. So inside the deployment, let me create one more folder, Angular. Okay. So from our IA server, we can choose this path, deployment and Angular. So let me click OK. And the port number defaultly, we can see this 80. So based on your available port, you have to change the port number. I am providing 83. Then let me click this is OK. And next in the Apple section. So we can see this material UI. And the .NET CLR version is 4.0, but actually our application in Angular. So go to the advanced settings. We cannot this one, the basic settings. So here you can see this .NET CLR version. Just to change this into no managed code, okay? Then we can click this, okay? So in the IAS server point of view, we are almost done. So next, let me go to our application. Okay, so here I am getting the warning bundle initiation exceeded and also one error. So the expected limit is around 1 MB, but it is crossed around 127.63 KB. So in this case, just to go to your angular.json. So here we have this budgets. So in this area, we can just increase the volume. Okay, so instead of this 500 KB, let me give 1 MB or else we can give 2 MB that's fine at the maximum error scenario we can give 5 MB because our application size is big so that's what we are getting the files like this so we can save this one let me execute the ng build once again okay see the build file is generated now what we supposed to do just to go to our application folder okay this angular material so inside that we have this dist folder okay this is our build file okay copy all the items and go to our deployment folder copy all the files just to refresh it now in our IA server just to restart once again and to click this browse link okay see our application is hosted the same url i'm trying to open in the edge browser also see it will work so if i'm trying to click some other menus see auto complete and home everything is working so in this auto complete yeah the data are loaded so if I'm typing something, so it is working. But still we have one problem because we hosted in the IAS server. So we have to set the rules for rewrite. Otherwise, if you are refreshing the screen, it will throw the error. See, the same issue we can reflect in our Google Chrome also. So the home page, I mean our base page, it is not a problem. If you are in some other route, then it will show the error. Okay. Now let me go to the IAS server once again. So here we have this URL rewrite option, right? So in case if you don't have this option, just to go to the browser and type like URL rewrite download. Go to the first link. So in this bottom, we have the option download URL rewrite model 2.1. And in this section, so based on your system configuration, download 64 or 86 installer and download and install it. 
so once it is installed just to restart your machine so obviously so the rewrite option enabled in our IAS okay and the next thing is we have to include one web config file there only we can define our rewrite rules so just go to our deployment folder and right click and add one text document and provide the name as web config Okay, just uh, remove this text extension. Okay, now it is the pure web config file. Just uh, right click and open in the notepad. So, here you have to include some codes. So, that actually I will add in the description. So, you have to use it. And here we have to provide our base URL. Okay, so let me save this one and we can close this one. So let me refresh this one and again in our IA server also we can restart once again. So now I am going to refresh this one okay. See so now it will work. So even though if I am going to the slider and here I am trying to refresh it will work not an issue. And one more URL I know the table. See even the data are also loaded if I am trying to click this edit I am able to get the data. And if I'm trying to add some data, so that also will happen. Test, see, 32, 31. The count also getting increased. And if you are following my angle material UV videos, so you know I have used the JSON server IP only. So you may have the question whether our JSON server will work with an IA server. Definitely no. Then you may have the question then how our application is working because in the locally, I have run our JSON server API. It is in the running mode. So that's why our application is working. So in case if I'm trying to stop this one, let me refresh the screen. See, none of the data is loaded. So hope you got some idea. So in this real time scenario, like you are deploying somewhere, make sure you should have the valid API, okay? So that is a very important thing. And the base URL, okay? Here the base URL is just empty one. So instead of that, if you want to provide some base URL also that we can manage. So in this case, uh, while generating the build itself, we have to provide our base URL. So initially I have created the build using this ng build. So if you want to give the base URL, then add like base href and space. Then you have to provide our base URL name. I'm going to provide material UI. So let me enter once again. Okay, see the build file is once again created. So let me check in the disk to folder. We can copy all the items. Now let me go to my deployment folder. So here we can replace the files. Okay. So the web config file that actually we have created manually. So we can keep the old one. Okay. Next we can go to our IS server just to restart this one. And to see the basic URL I am not it provided anything. If I am refreshing the screen. See this material we included. So if I'm browsing some other menus also, it will be there. Okay. Okay, great. Now we are in the end of the video. Still, if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box. And also, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.